Hello and welcome to the Bankers Tech Talk video series, diving into the world of fintechs. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy and Technology Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Yona Doda, Marketing Director at EasyPay, an Albanian electronic money issuer providing real-time payments. Yona, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Can you me. tell me a little bit about EasyPay and how it works? Um, so EasyPay, as you said, is one of the leading fintechs in Albania. Uh, we are an inclusive e-wallet solution and um, through our free mobile application people can make payments for over 30 local services such as utility bills, education fees, internet, police fines, etc. Our customers can credit their EasyPay e-wallet either with cash or cashless from their mobile phones or at one of our 300 agents locations all over Albania. Um, this way, by providing safe and inclusive top-up options, uh, both the banked and the unbanked can have access to digital financial services in real time. Okay, but how does your business model work? So our business model is mainly B2G2C or, and uh, B2B2C. Um, we usually earn a percentage fee for, uh, from our partners for every transaction that is made through us. Okay, uh, and I know that you recently launched a tax solution. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about that and how that benefits Albanians? So according to official statistics, 99.9% um, .9 of all active enterprises in Albania are SMEs who get taxed on a regular basis. And this is the first time in Albania where they can pay their um, tax obligations in real time at non-bank fintechs such as EasyPay. This way avoiding uh, conventional bureaucratic procedures and long queues. Um, to give you a better idea of the picture beforehand, people would sometimes uh, wait even up to one month for the payment confirmation. Mm -hmm. Um, but now they can pay off all their liabilities in just a few seconds and in real time. Okay, and you're certified as an e-money institution by the Bank of Albania. How important is that to your business model? Uh, we were actually one of the first companies in Albania, together with M-Pesa from Vodafone, to get licensed uh, by the Bank of Albania as an electronic money institution. And that was only three years ago. Uh, but we are very happy that Albania is one of the leading countries in the region to provide cer such certification. Um, and it is great seeing other neighbor countries such as Kosovo and Macedonia follow the same path. And this is also one of the reasons why we are looking to expand in the region in the near future. Uh, given that um, there aren't that many e-wallet solutions there. Um, but above all, our electronic money um, institution license has allowed us to convert cash to electronic money. And by doing that, we are um, giving access to the unbanked population to make online and mobile transactions in real time. Um, and, by, and as a result, giving them, making them more independent and gaining more control towards the management of their finances. Um, I think it's also very important to note that 60% of the Albanian population uh, is unbanked, which means that they're completely left out of the banking sector. In the EU, there's the Payment Services Directive 2 that's coming into play. Uh, how will that affect your business, do you think? So for now, we're still waiting for PSD2 to be implemented in Albania but we're already seeing its huge impact in the EU countries. Following its future implementation in Albania, we will expect to be more competitive with uh, banks and, I guess, face fewer regulatory um, hurdles um, with regards to being competitive with the banks. As, as we know, PSD2 at its core aims to create a competition between traditional bank models and fintechs such as EasyPay. So moving the power balance from corporates towards consumers and giving us um, the freedom to offer more innovative services and solutions that are beneficial to our audiences. Okay. 
My last question is really, what do you think the future of payments will look like? I think that the future of payment is here, as we're already noticing a shift of the focus towards optimizing and personalizing the experience, the payment experience for both consumers and businesses. Uh, we are witnessing um, omnichannel payments and there is definitely a revolution happening right now in the payment sector. Um, we will, we might in the future have the chance to hold hundreds of accounts and currencies and we will probably rely on technology to manage all of that. Excellent. Thank you so much for your insights, Jana. Thank you.